After obtaining the impedances, we have to match the input and output impedance with 50 ohm. Impedance matching is done from PA input and output impedance to 50 ohms. The impedance we obtained from previous simulation is the complex conjugate PA impedance. As shown in figure here, ZI asterisk and ZO asterisk are complex conjugate impedances of the PA. Due to this, we need to reverse the sign of the imaginary part of these impedances to get the actual PA impedances. The next step is to do impedance matching. ADS has a brilliant impedance matching tool called the Smith Chart Utility. We will be using this tool to do impedance matching. I have done the impedance matching before and saved it. I will open the save data here. Let's delete all the components so I can demonstrate how it's done. The first step is to make sure the frequency is set to the center of our band of interest and the characteristic impedance is set to 50 ohms. The next step is to insert the Q circle value. For our frequency band of interest, the calculated Q circle value is 8. I am currently doing the impedance matching. It's convenient to do impedance matching using Smith Chart Utility. The LNA input matching is done in 2 minutes. Next, we have to match the LNA output impedance to 50 ohms. I will modify the ZL or load impedance to the LNA output impedance. Then I will lock it so it won't change while I am doing the impedance matching. As we have done before, impedance matching can be done in less than 2 minutes.